the day the Siberian sky exploded. On June 30th, 1908, near the Podkamenaya Tunguska River in Siberia, a large explosion occurred in the atmosphere. The event was witnessed by local residents, including Evenki reindeer herders and traders. One recorded account comes from S. Semenov at the Vanavara Trading Post, about 65 kilometers from the epicenter. At breakfast time, I was sitting by the house, facing north. I suddenly saw that directly to the north. The sky split in two, and fire appeared high and wide over the forest. The split in the sky grew larger, and the entire northern side was covered with fire. At that moment, I became so hot I couldn't bear it, as if my shirt was on fire. I wanted to tear off my shirt and throw it down, but then the sky shut closed, and a strong thump sounded, and I was thrown a few meters. I lost consciousness for a moment. A bright bluish-white light crossed the sky, followed by an explosion. The blast knocked people down hundreds of kilometers away, broke windows, and was heard over 1,000 kilometers distant. Seismic stations in Eurasia and as far as Washington, D.C. recorded the shockwave. The explosion flattened approximately 80 million trees over an area of more than 2,000 square kilometers. Trees at the center were stripped of branches and bark but remained standing, while those farther away fell in a radial pattern pointing away from the epicenter. Effects extended beyond Siberia. For several days afterward, bright night skies and unusual sunsets were observed across Europe due to atmospheric dust and ice particles. Because of the area's remoteness and political instability in Russia, scientific investigation was delayed. The first major expedition, led by Leonid Kulik, took place in 1927. Kulik documented the fallen trees but found no impact crater or meteorite fragments. The leading scientific explanation is that a stony asteroid or cometary fragment, 50 to 100 meters in diameter, entered the atmosphere and exploded 5 to 10 kilometers above the ground in an airburst. The energy released is estimated at 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, about 1,000 times the yield of the Hiroshima bomb. The object likely vaporized completely, leaving no fragments on the ground. Charred wood and minor soil changes can still be found at the site today. The Tunguska event is the largest known impact event in recorded history. June 30th is now observed as International Asteroid Day to promote awareness of asteroid threats and planetary defense efforts. Events like these highlight the potential risk to populated areas, though monitoring programs have improved detection capabilities.